Last time we saw Joe Burrow in a championship game, he won, and he got some money, real or otherwise, from OBJ. Right. Tonight it didn't work out for Joe Burrow. Let's hear a little bit from him regarding the loss in his first career Super Bowl appearance. Yeah, it hurts. You know, we put a lot of work into going out there and executing and performing well, and it didn't turn out the way we wanted. So, you know, it's disappointing. Yeah, I mean, we're a young team, so, you know, you'd like to think that we're going to be back in this situation, you know, multiple times over the next course of the next few years. So, you know, we take this and, you know, let, let it fuel you for the rest of our careers. I mean, that's all you can do, but you just don't know right. when the planets are going to line up, especially in the AFC with Josh Allen and the Bills, with Mac Jones and the Patriots, Zach Wilson and the Jets, if they turn into something. Whatever Mike McDaniel is going to have going on with the Miami Dolphins now that he's there. Then you get to the AFC North. You got Baker Mayfield and the Browns or whatever they do at quarterback. Lamar Jackson still with the Ravens. What are the Steelers going to do? You've got – I haven't even gotten to the West. I know. With Herbert, Patrick Mahomes, Mahomes and Justin Parr. Herbert and O. Aaron Rodgers. And O. Aaron Rodgers potentially. could be there in Denver. I know. My God. I know. And the Titans were the one seed. It, it's amazing. It really is. You look at the Bengals and you go, they're young. They'll be back. But I also Dan Marino said, was never back. I, I, I've caught myself on that thought three times tonight where I've literally gone, I bet you Marino, Duper, and Clayton were all saying the same thing too. We'll be back. We're this good. No Marino's doubt. admitted to that. I know. He, th- he thought well, he'd be back three or four times. It's fragile. It's fragile. I mean, I, I bet you Patrick Mahomes at, four years ago had been like, I'm going to have more than one Super Bowl by this time. Well, remember yeah. after they won their first one, you the, had some of those guys popping off about winning six, six or in seven. a row. Well, let's right. just focus on one at a time. Yeah. One thing we have learned in recent it years. It is hard. We got spoiled by the Patriots. That's right. Not it real. is so freaking hard yes. to get to a Super Bowl and win it. Yes. Which I think underscores how ridiculous the Patriots' accomplishments were. It's amazing. That they were able to win six. I know. It's a, it it's, is so freaking hard to do it. In the era where it's more equal than ever. I mean, it's more equal than ever. That's where Belichick, Brady, all of them, it's, it's phenomenal. It really is. Rams, it's impressive enough that they went to two out of the last four Super Bowls. I'm like, oh, look at this team. They're a staple in the NFL. Two All or right, four. Let's, let's get ridiculous. Which of these two teams do you think has a better chance to be back next year? Mm, man. If you have to pick one or the other, I'd say neither. But if you have to pick one or the other. I'd probably still go with the Rams. I think I would. It's tough. What if Aaron Donald retires? I, that was, that's where I'm like, that's where it's iffy. But, but, look at what's going on in the NFC. Oh, a little points bet next year's odds right yeah, here. Yeah, already. Yeah. The Rams are plus 1,100 behind the Chiefs and the Bills. But the NFC is going to take a hit if Green Bay loses Aaron Rodgers. Yep. We don't know what's going to happen with Tom Brady. We haven't even talked about that. Holy crap, Tom Brady. Tom, Tom Brady's already worse than Brett Favre ever was. <laughs> Brett Favre at least let it marinate right for, for a, a couple bit, of months. Yeah. Holy crap, You're writing six days article later. 10 days later. Holy right. crap. <laughs> and it's like no one can complain about it. He lit the fuse himself. He did. The he- ultimate firework instruction, light fuse and get away, and that's what he's done. So, um I, I, I think between the two, I do feel better about the Rams because I think the NFC is going to be an easier road than the AFC. The AFC is going to be a meat grinder for the foreseeable future. And yeah, it's great when right. the playoffs roll it's around. Great. But you're not going to you're not going to keep flipping that card in your favor if right. you're the Bengals. One of these games is all it takes is one to go against you, and you ain't getting back to the Super Bowl. It, it, it was odd enough that the the Bengals were here already. Really, I mean, you know, again, it, they're, they're amazing. I get it. Big play Bengals, Joe Burrow, but man, I mean. I think if we counted the number of plays in the divisional game against the Titans, you go, the Titans won more plays. It's just they made huge mistakes. I mean, the Bengals just, they were, I don't want to say fortunate, but I feel like for a Super Bowl team, we're outplayed maybe more than you usually see in a divisional and conference championship round. And then here we were tonight, I was sitting here going, it's the same damn hey. thing. They were kind of outplayed and they hung around and look at this. Their control. I was like, they're, they're gonna are they gonna win the Super Bowl this way? And of course that changed and Matt Stafford went on that clutch drive. Should have lost to the Titans. Right. Down 21-3 to the Chiefs. 21 to 10, ball on the one yard line with two plays before the half. Like you're just going, there's no way. This game's over. It's domination. Unbelievable that they got as far as they did. It is. It really and is. And I know that that's not gonna make them feel any better, and it shouldn't, but it really is unbelievable that they had it in their hand, which is going to torment them for the rest oh, of their lives it's, you you've told me before how you still think about the playoff game you guys lost in 2005 and the, it was the wild card round the wild card round 
we outplayed a team, we lost, it's the worst way. It's the worst way to lose. You know, you said it right. When you lose by 20, you can just swallow it and go, man, they kicked our butt, period. But when you go on the field and go, man, we were winning or we're standing toe-to-toe -to -toe, or we had our chances to win it and messed it up or didn't take advantage of it, that's the worst. And that'll be a pit in their stomach, really, for the rest of their lives. This really. is going to be the real test of the Bengals because, yeah. look, right place, right time for Burrow. Yeah. Right place, right time for Chase. Right. What are you going to do now by way of – changing the way you do business yeah spending money right making the same kind of push for offensive linemen that the chiefs did yeah last year i hear you let's spend some money right. and let's beef this team up that's their best chance because if they don't it's going to be hard to get back it, it is and it's gonna be hard to keep their quarterback in one piece and i think your brain's in the right spot too like it's it's go time it's go time you got a special quarterback Guys like, are going to want to play with them. That's right. They don't come around that often. You got to you got to be a little more than their normal Bengals and and push a few more chips in the middle of the table than you normally would like to. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.